friends are What do I do? Why is it so hard To find someone new so far away All the days that I used to have someone right beside me Now I can find in my phone screen It's tiring, just wanna feel something Lonely nights talking the pixels I don't go out, don't intermix with the crowd Is that so hard to ask for? I just want something that's real, that's alive. Don't want no white noise on the other line. I just want a connection. Is that so hard to ask for? I just want something that's real, that's alive. Don't want no phone steady, phone steady. Being by myself, but it's better for my mental health. I do not like anybody here, so I do I care. I tell myself that I just need to have someone right beside me, or else I'm nothing but for me. I'd rather be alone than with some people that I don't know. Lonely nights, talking the pixels I don't. Is that so hard to ask for? I just want something that's real, that's alive. Don't want no white noise on the other line. I just want a connection. Is that so hard to ask for? I just want something that's real, that's alive. Don't want no phone steady, phone steady. Go. Text messages on repeat, start to lose. All feeling Where are the people for me? Text messages on repeat Start to lose all feeling Where are the people for me? Today we're having a picnic to celebrate our 100,000 on YouTube. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my videos and commenting and buying my prints and just supporting me. I am so grateful for every single one of you. I started YouTube, I think, two years ago now or a little less than two years ago. And I never would have imagined that I could, I could get to 100k. One of my favorite things to do when I open up my phone is to look for your comments. And the amount of just kindness out there is absolutely incredible. I don't think I've had like a single hate comment, which I'm very surprised <laughs> or grateful for but just the connections and the conversations that we have it's it's really amazing i will do a giveaway soon i'm just waiting for some things to arrive and once i have everything i will make a post about it and you'll know what to do again i'm just really grateful thank you sunny What? T-Rex! <laughs> Look how amazing that is. Found them in the field. There's a lot of pottery and stuff in here. Hi, Tiggy. You can see how deep she went in the mud.
Lately, I've been feeling like I have a lot on my plate and I find myself feeling so busy, but at the end of the week, I would have no clue what I even accomplished. So I was browsing through some classes on Skillshare and at first I wanted to join in on something about journaling and wellness, but I was so surprised to discover so many weekly illustration journaling classes. The one that I tuned into is Draw Your Life, Intro into Illustrated Journaling by Mimi Chow. I'm interested in putting aside time to brush up on my spot illustration skills and also reflect on my week for a clearer mind. I want to be able to draw a lot more diverse range of things and not just pretty girls and pretty clothes so this way of journaling is perfect for me. Last week was George's birthday so I got him like an antler stick and that's him chewing on it and we also made bacon egg sandwiches which we cooked the bacon in like a stove top out in nature and I also got a vintage or not really vintage but I think it's a 2007 Sony Handycam and I was so excited to film and use it. I also got my YouTube play button, the silver one for my 100k then we went to Totnes and we saw lots of like rustic handmade chairs and I got that bench. We went out for a picnic for the 100k and we had like pasta and cakes and there was this type of flower that it like popped when you touched it. And I also found this pottery piece in the fields because apparently they used to dump like ceramics there for some reason. For someone who's perfecting their artistic skills, I think these classes are really helpful. No goal is too small and I'm really looking forward to drawing out the highlights of my week every week and I think it'll be really fun if you guys do it with me and make sure to tag me on IG so I can see it. Become a member on Skillshare so you can explore more creative classes to build your personal projects or portfolio. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box below will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Check it out now. Technically, technically, art school is over for me. I've turned in my last essay. I've exhibited at the school gallery and I'm kind of just waiting for my grade to come back um, and also deinstall the show. But other than that, like, I think we're done here, guys. But don't worry, um, I'm still going to be able to go into the facilities and do my work. I've got a couple of silkscreen orders, so I will definitely be silkscreening my prints in the near future and definitely make more ceramics because I just love doing that even if I never sell anything. <laughs> but I've just been feeling like I don't really have as much art school content as I had before and I know things would change once the facilities open back up at my university again but I just wanted to like remind myself and also remind you guys that I started this channel to document the things that I love and of course art is like a huge part of my life and that will always be a huge part of my life but it just might not always be art school like i'll still be printing and making ceramics but there just might be more digital editorial work for clients or just me lying on a rock being by the beach and stuff like that I guess what I'm trying to say is this is just going to be a new and a bit different chapter in my life. And I'm so, so glad I can share it with you guys. Many lies that I've told and many secrets that I hold. Not ready to see the truth unfold. Didn't know that time could go so slow.
trust it.